Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLU Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Street Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 1141, User Activities for the Past 30 Days 1. The GitHub solution link will be provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates and discussion. Scan here to join the communities. Now let's solve together the problem. They have given us a activity table consisting of some IDs for each user. Okay, if someone is playing some game or something, a user ID has been given. So if they are playing for different different times for each session, they are given some ID on which date and what is the session. It is the opening the session or closing the session, etc. Now what they are asking? Write a solution to find daily active users users for a period of 30 days ending with okay this one july 27th okay a user was active on some day if they made at least one activity on that day okay let us come here they are saying just a minute. Yeah. They are saying they want an interval of 30 days ending with 2019 July 7, 27. Okay. So 30 day period will be what? 2019 06. 28 because 27 will be excluded so they want only the dates which are falling in this range okay now let us see the things this so we can say this is falling in that range this is falling in that range falling 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 can i say June 25 is before that it is not following in this range so this is not following this is not following okay now from this what are the unique dates you can observe here there are only two unique dates either it is 2019 July 20 or 2019 July 21 okay we can see there are four rows similarly some five rows for yeah. now who are the users who have logged in, in that period the rows may be five but the same users have logged in again so what are the unique user ids the unique user ids is two similarly unique user ID is two so that is the answer so what we need to do in step one filter the activity date for this period in step two for each activity date what are the things which are left group it and calculate the unique user ID in step 2. Okay, let us code it down. Mm, DF is equal to activity, where activity of activity date is greater than or equal to 2019-0628. Less than or equal to return DF. So we have filtered for the dates which are there. Okay, we got it. The step one is done. What should the step two? So we can directly write here DF dot dot group by by which column I need to group by activity date and what I need to calculate the user ID column 
unique values so n unique okay now let me make it a data frame okay um, as it is a grouping by thing it is giving only that thing so let me reset index So we can see here each activity and the user date it is there it is giving but th they want to uh, call it with a new column name so let me rename it dot rename column should be a dictionary with the previous name what is the previous name previous name is activity date the new name should be day and one more column old name is user id the new name is active users let me run it yes this was done let me check for all the test cases now Okay, our Pandas query has successfully passed all the test cases and we have successfully solved the problem. Thanks for watching. And if you want the code solution for this, it will be available in this GitHub repository with the lead code link, YouTube link, and the solution link. You can check this you can check this URL in the description below. And if you're further interested in learning data science, analytics, machine learning, NLP, computer vision, generate AI stuff, please fill in the Google form below. My team will be contacting you soon. And if you are preparing for data science interviews, you can use my playlist for preparing for further interviews. Okay. And if you have any other further questions or doubts regarding the questions which you have solved, you can use the hashtag AskAmelieProsad and you can shoot out your question in the comment section. I'll be answering all of them. Okay. Until then, keep learning, guys.